Okay, so I think we finally have got somewhere. Um, on this video we are looking at uh, X keypad uh, and duet display for the iPad, uh, which is linked to the uh, PC as an additional display. And uh, I've had a number of <laughs> issues as, uh, as you've seen on the forum, but I think we've cracked it. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is look at the display settings. Oh, I didn't show you that, but you all know how to do that. This is all spread out for me because it's over three PCs. But if you go into System and Display, you'll see that I've got uh, three Full HD monitors set up, Landscape Mode, and uh, the PC thinks that they're uh, pretty much all one monitor. The monitor above uh, and the one to the side are working off of a entirely different PC and uh, that's for uh, Pilot to ATC, Navigraph, um, you know whatever else I want uh, running additionally. Um, so yeah we just make a note of that screen. I'm just going to minimize it. Now I'm going to run Oops, it's over there. This really is a pain when it splits. Oh, I don't need to go there. I'm just going to run Duet Display as administrator on the PC. That comes up in the box there. There we go. Um, so iOS, please connect your iOS device uh, to view the settings, etc. Now, this is a bit of a pain. I'm trying to plug this in one-handed kind of. <clears throat> so you heard Windows um, recognize that. We're now going to run Duet on the iPad. Again you rec recognize that. And uh, oh god, <laughs> we can see is my reflection. <laughs> but if you look down there can make it focus there we go you can see the Windows uh, taskbar so uh, whatever you want to do you can pick oh, why won't this autofocus yeah, not sure but you've got uh, frame rate here performance and resolution I'm just going to leave it on those and I'm just going to shut that down now, if you remember the settings page, uh, we can now go to, where was it? Oh no, where is it? No, not that. Oh, don't tell me, I'm going to embarrass myself by not being able to find the right, yeah, the right thing. No, where is it? God damn it. <laughs> Oh, there it is. <laughs> I think that perhaps was... Oh, it was probably too low. Look, I've scrolled back up. Now, originally, uh, that is the three monitors. That is the iPad. Now, one of the problems I had with uh, getting the X-Pad, um, X-Keypad to work was you would have to go right off the right of the screen like that, and then only then would you come down if I apply that you'll see the mouse pointer runs all the way off and then onto there <clears throat> so that's really no use um, you know that wasn't ideal uh, when this is all working correctly and you touch one of the buttons that I'm going to show you in a minute the mouse automatically jumps to where you've just pressed now if I've then got a scroll off to the left and then all the way back over there and all the way back over there it's obviously a complete pain in the ass now I've only ever seen uh, these you know additional displays shown left and right and of course probably that's the normal way to orientate them and just for the hell of it I just dragged it and put it underneath there <laughs> in the center and it actually works just got to get it right in the center like that I click apply and now what I can do is the mouse pointers there I just come straight down oh have, have I applied that hang on a second uh, why won't that do that oh there we go I was too far off 
So from, sorry, from there, I can just come down and it's straight onto there. Same again, and straight back on again. So that is perfect. I don't mind, I mean, moving from there to there literally is just that amount of movement with the mouse. I'm top of the main monitor now and bottom of the iPad there so it's really not very much at all. So that solved that problem and we'll just shut all that down so now we can go straight down to there and straight back up to the middle monitor which is perfect. Now I'm going to run X-Plane and I know this is going to take a few minutes so bear with me, apologies for that, but I want to show you. Uh, so we're going to run that as administrator obviously and we're just going to let that fire up and uh, the Duet display is doing its own thing. A couple of things to uh, think about, I have uh, four iPads. Uh, we've got two A1396s and one 1395 which I think is the white one and we've got a new one which is an A2198. Uh, the older ones can only go to 9.3.5 on uh, iOS and uh, Duet Display if you've paid for it and try and download it um, it will say the current version cannot be downloaded onto that age of iOS but there is an older version uh, that can uh, so, right, let's just, I think this has already gone into what I want to show you actually. Uh, yeah, it has because the iPad is linked. I'm just going to close that down. Right, so let's maximize. Oh, come on. Okay, why won't that go full screen? Not oh, for pity's sake. Ah, what have we messed up there? Okay, here's the magic thing. Now, I've always had this set on full screen simulator, like that. So, we've got... Oh, it's will not focus. Uh, so we've got the menu there, we've got it all the way over there and back the other side. And that's worked out perfectly. But if we now start a new flight, we've got the X keypad uh, files in with this Baron 58. Uh, I'm going to use JFK because we've got no uh, scenery there. Uh, so it loads quicker. Now uh, we're just going to go on start flight and you will see what happens. I always use an airport where I haven't got any scenery for messing around because it loads much quicker. If I'm use, flying in the UK using all becks, it takes about 10 minutes to load. So uh, not really ideal for messing around with settings. So that's pretty much loaded. And then you'll see the problem that I've been having. Uh, so at this point, you would go up to plugins. You would go to X keypad, uh, new virtual device. And, and there it is, uh, that you can- Flight director on, flight director off. Do all sorts with, uh, obviously available for all different planes. And it looked perfect if I could get it to work on the iPad, which apparently you can. So the idea then is to run Duet. I'm probably going to have to unplug this. This is one of the big bugbears with this software. It does seem to require you to actually disconnect the cable. In this case, it's okay. So from here, you can see mouse pointer, bring it down and it's straight down onto the iPad and then back up. So now we can just grab that, bring it over to the center and bring it down. You'll see it then appears on the iPad and uh, I just can't see. I'm just going to maximize that and you think done. Flight director on. Flight director off. Unfortunately, let's move that mouse out of the way. 
flight director oh, well, would you believe it it does work on this flight case that must have changed I'm going to go up to the settings and uh, see if it has in fact changed yeah it has <laughs> because I set up um, because I realized what was going on eventually and I changed one of the settings here which I'm going to show you in a second every time I turn the iPad on now X-Plane is remembering that setting and automatically uh, configuring itself to it um, which is not ideally what I wanted to show you but I'm going to turn the iPad off oh sorry I'm just going to get rid of that now you can see that that's changed back to my normal screen which says full screen monitor uh, default monitor well of course it's you know it's been set on there but it always goes back to default uh, and there are my usual settings and the way I realized how to get this to work was I came up to monitor usage and had a look in there and one of them is windowed simulator now if you look you see it's right up to the edges there as you'd expect so if I select windowed simulator there it all flashes and now we've got um, actually let me get rid of that yeah. I want this over the three screens which is what it was doing earlier but it isn't now for some reason now why is that oh how stupid Hmm, okay, let's click OK. No, so it was spreading over the three. Oh, maybe I can stretch it. Oh, there we go. Okay, for some reason it's... Uh, right, so you can see now that you can actually slide this around. I'm just going to drag it into the top left corner. We're going to have a look at the bottom. And you can see you can bring that down there. And again, it's not quite matching up uh, there it is now that's windowed mode you can see it's different hopefully by the menus and uh, things like that and also you've got the stuff running there now if I go to plugins and new virtual device there it is flight director on again flight director off going to run duet and this is how I did it uh, you know early when this wasn't set up I ran duet again you hear it being recognized and again hopefully duet will run it has now this time oops I've got to drag it down at the middle I dragged it down maximized it uh, there we go now this time Flight director on. It actually works. Flight director off. And to get back to the main screen, it literally is just a couple of inches up on the mouse. The only thing you'll get is if you watch the top of the screen, if I press the, one of these buttons. Flight director on. It does that. Flight director off. And if I click back up again, you'll notice it goes back to normal. Uh, that's a small price to play. Uh, sorry, pay. Uh, to actually get this to work because it's absolutely fantastic I, you know this could be really really very useful indeed um, sorry I don't know what's happened to this autofocus I really don't get that at all anyway so uh, as I say that now you've done that once X-Plane seems to know that and will switch to it next time. If I go back to the graphics settings, yeah, it stayed with windowed simulator. And if I wanted to, I could just go back to full screen, uh, which is fine. But unless you switch it to that windowed simulator once and get the... Um, X keypad working it just won't work so although it's on full simulator now as soon as I turn this on oops, it will change there you go there's the change and uh, hopefully that will launch and there it is and um, we can 
go again to plugins, new virtual device. Flight director on. And to go to the middle, drag it uh, down. God, it's hard just trying to film this. Maximize it. I'm going to put the mouse pad back up there. Sorry, the mouse back up there. As there is a problem with this. Flight director off. The mouse has now appeared here. If I wiggle the mouse, you'll see it appear exactly where you touched. But now I can just go straight up. It's absolutely perfect now. Uh, so the keys are windowed mode. I mean, I'd never even heard of that. Never seen it in use. Absolutely no idea. Probably everyone on the forum saying, what an idiot. Doesn't use window mode. Um, but yeah, no idea exactly what it's for. Uh, and of course by the same author we have the excellent um, X camera. Love this ability to quickly look and then snap back. So oh yeah quick look as a plane over there and let go of the center scroll wheel and uh, you're done. Same with looking down and let go. <laughs> it's brilliant. I've got nothing set up on this but I did try a, a demo from somebody else uh, that had loads of different cameras. What I would love is if we could um, stop these menus going all the way over the three <laughs> screens because it thinks it's one screen everything is stretched across it so I'm going to have to ask about that I don't really know whether there's a way to stop that um, happening but it'd be uh, great if, uh, if there was but how fantastic is that going to be you can program this and do all sorts with it um, might be brilliant for the Zebo, which is flight what I mainly on. fly um, flight director off and now I've worked out how you know the Windows thinks this iPad is directly below the main monitor I just push up the mouse and it's easy before I had to scroll all the way across the iPad all the way across two monitors and if I was going for a menu up there I had three monitors to go across now it's just two inches up job done so that's perfect very very pleased with that I shall uh, be uh, purchasing the registered version and uh, just popping this video up and I think uh, because I bought all this stuff oh gosh eight months or so ago before this crisis hit I was uh, supposed to start videoing everything and you know what we've got uh, but I just didn't get around to it and now I feel a bit bad showing off all this stuff when uh, we're all pretty much screwed. But uh, what do I do? Sell it? If there's a few quid in the bank, oh, I think we'll just have to, you know, manage. So might as well make some videos, might get a little uh, extra income from the YouTube channel. Uh, it's been an interesting journey buying certain things that work, certain things that don't. The iPads are fantastic. You can pick these up for around 40 quid on eBay if you're patient, and uh, they all work with uh, Air Manager or um, 20 years. Uh, but it's amazing the scenery, the uh, plugins, the amount of dedication that all these guys I'm coming across on the forums, the authors of these plugins, uh, they're just fantastic. Uh, massive amounts of work these guys put in superb so really getting into it and that I thought was just uh, excellent um, unfortunately uh, the duet display at the moment can only handle one iPad uh, I have contacted them to see if there's uh, any way of getting the older ones to work because when you download uh, from the App Store onto these old ones it will say no really you need iOS oh, 10 what is it uh, 13 or whatever but it says we've got an old version of the program that we can download and install and it does that but unfortunately it does not uh, connect to the PC if I could get them all running well that uh, would be well, at least a couple of them running that would be very uh, useful indeed probably anyway I've rambled on uh, this is probably more for my YouTube channel uh, it's probably a bit long for the forum guys who've been trying to help me solve this problem but have solved it and uh, very pleased to have solved it and uh, hopefully it might help uh, somebody else in the future but oh plane coming in yeah brilliant anyway there we go hope that helps someone in the future